Fatima Bhutto believes in the power of the word. She's a columnist and an author. But I'm not interested in being a symbol for anyone. But that's exactly what many would like the 25-year-old to be. With her striking resemblance to her aunt, Benazir Bhutto, her political experience and her charisma, many in Pakistan believe Fatima, and not Benazir's 19-year-old son Bilawal, should lead the party, a notion Fatima rejects. I have never believed in um, dynastic politics or, or the politics of birthright, because I think that's dangerous for Pakistan. Um, it's dangerous to the cause of democracy in Pakistan and ultimately it doesn't serve the people. Those are her convictions, but it's also part of a long-standing feud within the Bhutto clan. In 1996, Murtaza Bhutto, Fatima's father, was gunned down in front of his house by Pakistani security forces. Benazir Bhutto was Pakistan's prime minister at the time. Many still suspect she may have been involved in her brother's death because he was a political rival. Both her governments were um, known for um, widespread corruption, for an abuse of human rights, uh, for an excess of, of police violence. But though she's not willing to lead a party, Fatima Bhutto is political, and some of her ideas may seem controversial. She says the U.S. should stay out of Pakistan's affairs. I think America's involvement um, has always been a very dangerous one for this country. Um, it's America's involvement that has kept the Musharraf machine running for the last nine years. Empowering Pakistan's disenfranchised masses, Fatima Bhutto says, is her main goal. One that could lead her into political leadership after all. When the day comes that, that this happens, that we have an open field, um, if there is a way for me to serve my country, I would be proud to. But for now, she says, the printed word and not party politics is her way to serve her cause and her country. Frederick Plekin, CNN, Karachi, Pakistan.